Okay, in this video I will show you how context matches work in Café Tron Espresso 2013. I will be translating these two documents here and I have a short introduction video about them and you can find the link in the description field below. So let's start Café Tron and in Café Tron I will create a new TM which will be a project TM and I will translate a document I will call my project Google ENFR and I will add as the first document to translate the document which is uh, in the source text folder and it's this one. So open and OK. So I'll quickly start to translate this document. Okay, so all nine segments of my first document have been translated and sent to the project TM. And what I will do next, I will go to project and add document. And I will add the second document, which is again on my desktop and in the source text folder. That's this one. And open. Okay. And now I will be displaying this tab here and I will start translating the second document. So for the first segment, I get what Café Tron calls a 102% context match. And uh, that is a full context match in which both the preceding and the following segments are the same. I move to the next segment. And again, I have a full context match, 102%. And if I hover the cursor on top of this small number here, I can see the original context. And I can see that indeed both the preceding segment using our service and the next segment, don't misuse our services, are the same as in the new document. So this is why we have a 102% match. Now, if I move to the next segment, I will have uh, what Café Tron calls a 101% context match and this is a partial uh, context match. So if I hover again on this number here, I can see that uh, the previous segment in the original context is the same. You must follow any policies and so on. But the next segment, you may use our services and so on is not the same as in the current document where we have, for example, don't interfere and so on. So this is why we have only a partial context match. So that's an interesting feature in uh, Café Tran. The next segment is uh, uh, brand new, so I have to translate it uh, from scratch. And segment number five is uh, again a partial context match because the previous segment was new. Uh, so that's the reason why. And if I move to the next one, that's now a full context match. Uh, so 102% because both the preceding and the following are the same. Segment number seven is a partial context match because we had uh, deleted uh, one segment here. And segment number eight also because of the deleted uh, segment. And segment number nine is again a full context match, 102%. So there you have it, context matches in Café Tron Espresso 2013. The interesting thing about uh, context matches in uh, this software is that first it's a very new feature. It was only introduced about uh, one week ago. And uh, the second interesting thing is that Café Tran is uh, the only tool that distinguishes between partial context matches and full context matches. And for that, it uses 101% uh, and 102% scores for the matches. You may also be interested in the videos I made about other tools that support context matches. So I made videos about uh, SDL Trader Studio, MemoQ Translator Pro, Deja Vu X2 Professional, Hardsome Translation Studio, and Swordfish 3. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.